What is happening, Magnesites? I swear to God. These test screenings better be good. I, I swear to God, the reaction better be. This is phenomenal. Marvel is back. Are you ready? <sighs> Let's get it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren, and we have a lot of really epic news to talk about today in this video, including a lot of epic news about Deadpool and Wolverine. I hope so. so. We'll be talking about Come on. to expect that next trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Come the with full it. official trailer. Remember, the first one we got was a teaser. I mean, they barely showed Wolverine just a little bit at the end mm. there. The next one will show Wolverine and will give us a better idea of what the full plot is <laughs> for the movie. We'll also be talking about the test screenings that they had for Deadpool and Wolverine. This is coming from Sean Levy himself, the director of the film. He was talking about the test screenings. Then we have a new plot synopsis for the movie and some really cool merch that has been revealed. If you haven't heard about the merch, they wanted some of it to be kind of crude and Ryan Reynolds got... My only problem with this coming straight from the director is I don't know the director, but I know that part of the marketing machine sometimes is to lie. He may not be lying. He may be telling the absolute truth. But I do not trust Disney anymore. Let's continue. Got to design some himself. And what we've seen and heard about so far sounds really, really cool. So a lot to dive into today. If you're new and you love Marvel and Deadpool, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest Deadpool and Marvel videos. We're also giving away a PS5 and Xbox Series X. More on that at the end of the video. So first and foremost, let's talk about when to expect that next trailer because okay. I know a lot of fans really want to know that. Yes, Sadly, it's not coming this month. It won't be in okay. April. However, okay. from what we've heard, it sounds like it is coming in May. And this really okay. lines up with kind That's of cool. how Marvel Studios does things. Deadpool and Wolverine is coming in July. So the official full-on trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine coming out two months before is pretty on par with what Marvel Studios has done in the past. It's pretty normal. And then, of course, okay. let's not forget that as we get really close to the film, Marvel Studios will do a lot of TV spot trailers. Now, in this case, yeah. I hope they don't show us too much. I would really like Deadpool and Wolverine to surprise us. And I'll I'm fine with that, as long as they don't uh, reveal any Easter eggs, you know, or cameos. You know, we know Hugh Jackman. We know Deadpool. That's it. We have great action, this and that, jokes. But I don't want to see nobody else. You got what I'm saying? I'm a person that can watch all the TV spots, all the trailers, and never get spoiled or feel I'm spoiled. You know those people that are always like, I feel like I saw the whole movie! They say it all the time in my comments. I, I never feel like that. It's it's only been a couple of trailers where I'm like, the way this trailer was cut together, they did let you know how the movie would begin and end. Like, they let you know the beginning, the middle, and the end. Like, I get that when people say that, but... You know, when a movie is it's two hours and you watch a three-minute trailer or two-minute trailer or one-minute trailer, it doesn't really show you the whole movie, but I, I get what they're saying. All right. A lot of different ways. But regardless, we are about to find out a lot more about Deadpool and Wolverine starting next month. Only 15 days, really. Now, if you weren't aware, Marvel Studios and Disney recently attended CinemaCon. They had a panel where they showed us, well, they showed the people there, nine minutes of footage of Deadpool and Wolverine. Did they say nine? On what was shown, you can check that out on the channel. It was of Deadpool and Wolverine. Con, they had a panel where they showed us, well, they showed the people there, nine minutes of football. Nine minutes? Wolverine. We did a full Woo! on what was shown. You can check that out on the channel. I'm it's jealous. the beginning. No big spoilers in it, but one thing that they were talking about is Kevin Feige said that the movie was effing awesome. We got our first F-bomb from Kevin Feige, and he actually said it. I don't care. I no longer trust the Feigmeister. Remember... Remember when I started that phrase in Feige We Trust? Remember that? No more. If this movie is sensational, exceptional, fantastic, amazing, then my ears, my antenna will perk up and I will think to myself, okay, we'll see Feige. What's next though? You know what I'm saying? 
three times. Now, a lot of people at Marvel Studios are talking about how excited they are for everybody to see Deadpool and Wolverine. And of course, everyone's going to say, well, they are the studio. Of course, they're going to act excited for the movie, even if it's bad. However, here's the thing. <laughs> they have done test screenings, and apparently the test screenings went very, very uh... well. And here's the deal. We typically do hear about the test screenings. In fact, the last one we heard about was Captain America 4, Brave New World. We mm -hmm. did a video on that, and they were only just kind of okay. They weren't said to be too good however now they said it was a big old piece of trash these test screenings are believed to have happened before Marvel Studios decided to kind of reshoot basically the entire movie. So hopefully it's better now, but the test screenings for Deadpool and Wolverine were good, and this is actually coming from Sean Levy in an interview with Collider that took place at CinemaCon, which is where he was. He was actually there, and he actually spoke about Deadpool and Wolverine during the Marvel Studios presentation. And in the interview with Collider, he said that they've done some early screenings for Deadpool and Wolverine. He says, we have had some early screenings that were extremely extremely promising. Basically what this okay. means is that they actually showed the full movie Deadpool and Wolverine we to shall some see. test audiences. Now he says screening, so that's multiple, mm -hmm. and apparently the audiences that saw the movie reacted to it extremely well, meaning they really liked the movie. So this is incredibly great news, plus the people... Well, if you want an absolutely truthful reaction to the movie and review, you know you're going to get it from me. Because I ain't shilling for nobody! I ain't getting paid to like something for nothing. People who were there at CinemaCon, who were attending the Disney panel, who saw the nine minutes of footage that they showed, they all said that it was absolutely epic. Everybody loved what they saw. Everybody okay. was tweeting online stating how the footage was amazing, the jokes were hilarious, and just overall, the people who were excited for it are more excited, and the people who were on the fence are actually not on the fence anymore and are really looking forward to the movie. So... Okay. So all of this, the fan reactions to the nine minute footage that was shown, reactions from some critics who were there attending, and a killer trailer combined with great reactions from test screenings are all insanely good news for Deadpool 3. Now, I wasn't really worried about this one. There are a lot of Marvel projects. I am worried that they might not make them the best, but I was never really worried about Deadpool 3 because it's Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds loves- You right about that. You right to be worried, Wonder what he does. He loves Deadpool. He is Deadpool. Plus, he's with Hugh Jackman and Sean Levy on this one, and he is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is a Marvel Studios movie. This should be the best Deadpool film that we've ever gotten, and it sounds like that is what it's going to be. Now, like I mentioned, we have a new plot synopsis for the film, and then we'll jump into the Hulk vs. Wolverine news. But the new synopsis is this. After some professional disappointments and ongoing midlife crisis, Wade Wilson now sells used cars. He's completely hung up his boots until his family, friends, and whole world oh are God. threatened. With everyone he loves at risk, Deadpool teams up with a reluctant Wolverine to fight for their survival and ultimately their legacy. Now this is kind of what we heard before, but it does go along with the trailer that we got and the footage mm -hmm. that was shown at CinemaCon. It's true Deadpool has hung up the Wolverine costume. And it sounds like from what people said, he is super depressed. He's no longer with Vanessa. He's no longer Deadpool. He's probably Did completely you say Deadpool changed has hung as up a person, the Wolverine but this costume? is why him getting taken by the TVA for said? a Marvel mission is probably Wolverine costume. And it sounds yeah. like at CinemaCon. It's true Deadpool has hung up the Wolverine costume. <laughs> and it sounds like, from what people said, he is super depressed. He's no longer with Vanessa. He's no longer Deadpool. He's probably completely changed as a person. But this is why him getting taken by the TVA for a Marvel mission is probably perfect for him. It's definitely perfect for us, especially because Wolverine's going to be in the film. Mm -hmm. Now, like I've mentioned, there is a new report about Hulk versus Wolverine and Deadpool and Wolverine, but it might not be what a lot of people really want it to be. In fact, I, I pretty much know it's not. According to the insider, can we get- Well, we already got the animated one, so what are they doing with this? It's some toast. And I love Hulk that. Hulk vs. Wolverine will reportedly be mentioned in Deadpool and Wolverine. It will be a nod to Wolverine's first ever appearance in a Marvel comic, which was in a Hulk comic book mm -hmm. series. So this is kind of disappointing news. Now, it was never confirmed by any means that we would get a Hulk versus Wolverine scene in Deadpool and Wolverine. No. It was just a speculation based on the fact that they were working on Deadpool and Wolverine while Ryan Reynolds... But years ago, they were talking about making the movie. I remember that. I remember doing a video about it. 
Sean Levy and Mark Ruffalo were working on the Atom Project together. They even gave us an Easter egg for the Hulk and Deadpool in that film. And there were a lot of hints that we could possibly get a Hulk vs. Wolverine in the movie, including Mark Ruffalo himself stating that that's what he wanted to see. But according to the insider, it's only going to be mentioned. I will add, however, that most of these insiders don't know everything about the movie. They know tidbits about it. Of course, there are some cases where some insiders know the entire movie before it comes out, but they seem to be keeping Deadpool under pretty good wraps. So there is still a chance that we might see it. However, definitely don't get your hopes up. Expect it not to happen. Expect just this nod to the comics, simply this mention of Hulk vs. Wolverine. Now, last but certainly not least, there's going to be some pretty interesting Deadpool and Wolverine merch, specifically merch at the movie theater. And what's funny, this really? is coming from Kevin Feige himself. At CinemaCon, he stated that the popcorn bucket for Deadpool and Wolverine will be intentionally crude and lewd, and that they asked Deadpool himself to design it. And he also referenced the Dune popcorn bucket, which if you haven't seen it, it's just, it's, it's, it's terrible. But the Deadpool and Wolverine ones are going to be funny, not a giant wormhole that you have oh, to stick God. your hand through. However, it looks like you might have to stick your hand through Deadpool's mouth. If this is one of the That's official funny. popcorn buckets, it looks like you probably can't even stick your hand in that, but might have to put your mouth up to it, and it would make it look like you were kissing nope. Deadpool, which is totally something Ryan Reynolds No one Deadpool is going to, you have to put it in his ass. He's going to be looking back at you. And it's going to be his butt cheeks open. That's what it's going to be. There are also, of course, other implications for this hole in the popcorn bucket, but I'll leave that to your imagination. This certainly is funny, but don't worry. At CinemaCon, they did have some other merch for Deadpool and Wolverine that looked like it was official merchandise for the movie theater. And we can see some here. We can see some really cool popcorn buckets, some really cool toppers for drinks. And if you look closely at the bottom, in the middle, there's Deadpool without a head. Now, according to the insider, can we get some toast? There is going to be a head. Headpool popcorn bucket. Now we know that Headpool is going to be a variant of Deadpool that is going to be in Deadpool Wolverine. This is apparently the Wade Wilson from X-Men Origins Wolverine who got his head cut off. Well, according to Can We Get Some Toast, Deadpool and Wolverine will have a popcorn bucket modeled after Headpool. Owners of this exclusive item will be able to open his propeller head and eat the popcorn from his brain. You guys remember this? Seen the recent promotional art for the Do you guys remember this? <laughs> I did a video this is what on he this. looks like. So imagine this head <laughs> as a popcorn bucket. You open the top of it and reach in like you're reaching directly into Headpool's <laughs> brains. Certainly creative, certainly funny, certainly going to get it as a collector's piece, but I think I might just eat out of a regular popcorn bucket for the actual movie. I think it actually might be Make kind sure of distracting. Make sure you go watch the video and on it. I'm going to link it to this. some of these things that we're hearing about Woo! these popcorn buckets are true, I'm sure some people are definitely <laughs> going to find them distracting. But overall, it seems like they really are making the best of really everything they can with Deadpool 3. With the cameos coming that we know are coming, Deadpool breaking the fourth wall, Hugh Jackman breaking the fourth wall with him, which they saw at CinemaCon, with the test screenings, with Kevin Feige cussing, using the F word for the first time, we've never heard him say it before, and with these really, really funny promotional merch items, it just really seems like everything is coming together for Deadpool. Feige could be just faking us out with some bad ashery, like, ooh, he cursed, he really means it. I mean, like, you know what I mean? I, that's what I don't trust. Time, since people have We've been faked out before. Since test screenings have happened, and with both accounts, they have both gone very, very well. I have high hopes for this movie. I knew Ryan Reynolds would crush it, but it sounds <laughs> like he really hit it out of the park here. But go ahead Good. and let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Are you worried about the movie, or do you think it's going to be an absolute grand slam? And are you going to grab some of those popcorn buckets? Let me know what you think about this in... Probably. I'll probably get a popcorn bucket. Do I think it's going to be great? I'm thinking most likely is going to be an outlier, a fluke type movie to where they deviate from the garbage they've been doing and they make something great to draw people back in. But we're just going to have to see. I believe more than not that it really is going to be good just based on the trailer and what I'm hearing. So we'll see.